James, you've just seen your United's team fall to defeat at the hands of Barrow Raiders. What did you make of the performance today? Uh, first and foremost, congratulations to Barrow. I thought you know, they worked really hard for one another. Uh, didn't play like they played against Halifax. I thought they completed at a really high level. Kicked consistently well throughout the game. And uh, defend, def yeah, defended probably more like Paul wants them to defend. So congratulations to Paul and Barrow. And you know, to come here and beat us, uh, yeah, well done to them. In terms, in terms of us, uh, I thought we didn't get the game into a ribbon. We never got into a five, six, seven set uh, swing. And, and that's, I feel that's when we're at our best. Well, the game was very stop start, but we, we've, we've got to deal with that. And uh, on the back of the stop start nature, I think we, we made too many errors and, and gave away some, some really sloppy pressure releases. That, that stopped us getting on top. I thought there were a couple of, couple of moments in each half where I thought, well, Couple more sets, couple more box finishes, and, and, and we're going to get these. Uh, but credit to Barra, they hung in there at times and uh, yeah, found ways to turn the of the game. And obviously, your, your team weren't as scintillating as they can be. Do you put that down a bit to Barrow reading us better than maybe they did at their place? No, I don't say that. The Redders, I think, I just think we, we didn't perform well. I don't think we performed to, to our best. I don't think we were a million miles away. I think we were two or three key moments in each half of, of, of going into top gear. but. Uh, in, in team sports, in, in any sport really, you're not going to win every week. Uh, when you lose, it's really important that you stick together, uh, learn some lessons about what, what's gone on and, and, and why we've not won and, and then name up for being better. Obviously, Liam Harris made his career, 100th career appearance today. You've got a lot of uh, um, support for that man. You highly regard him, don't you? Unfortunately, couldn't quite do it from today. Yeah, no, I think Liam's had a really good season for us and I think today he was probably one of our better players. Uh, you know, uh, in, out of the hundred games, I think I've coached him for fifty-two of them. I've seen a, I've seen him score some special tries for us at, at pivotal moments in games, and uh, the young man's really matured into a, 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 a yeah, I'd say he's a fine leader. Obviously, he's in our leadership group on the back of that, and really enjoyed working with him before. I'm enjoying working with him again, and you know, I didn't want him to leave the club. Uh, but I'm just glad he's back. And uh, you know, we've got an eight-day turnaround before we play Halifax away. It's a big game to try and put things right, isn't it? It is, it is, and we've just got to focus on us. You know, we've got to learn lessons from us. We're not going to look at any other, any other thing that people might want to discuss around that, that game today because we can't control the other stuff, and I don't even want to mention it. We've just got to focus on us. Uh, and Halifax are a quality team. They, they've got some really good individual threats. They've got some big, strong fellas, uh, good quality halfbacks, Woody at full back. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're a good team then, but uh, so are we. So we and we need to we need to focus on us and, and get our prep right and then let's have a real real crack at Halifax on, on Monday.